Darren and this is Orn and Ananda and today we've come to a local market in Phuket and we're going to try some food. There are plenty of markets like this all around Phuket as well as the more popular ones you will find local markets like this where the locals come to shop. So let's go and have a look at what we can find. Found something that she wants. Can I'm Jin Nam Niao? Nam Niao Chiang Mai. Ahan Chiang Mai. Ahan Nua. Not too bad. 60 baht for those. And next stop is the sushi shop. Lots of people comment on my videos that this sushi isn't refrigerated. Is it safe? Weird at all the time. They're constantly making fresh batches of sushi. It doesn't sit here for long. And all these people are eating it, I dare say, not for the first time. That'd be because it doesn't make them sick. This is Ananda's favorite here. Seaweed. Oh, sarai, see? Okay, so the given on the tray so she can pick what she wants so we get four of those for Ananda I think I'll get a prawn one and get me one gung and one of these two that looks pretty yummy whatever that is 36 baht for those up and cup looks like Ananda's gonna one buy that one all right, what do you think? Good? <laughs> that looks like it's pretty good. So we got the prawn one there. Mm. Very tasty. Not quite as good as Japanese sushi, I don't think. Thais haven't quite mastered sushi, but it's still really good. And then this one, I don't know what it was, but it looked pretty good. That one likewise, pretty tasty. Could do with a little bit more vinegar in the rice, I think though, but it's quite good. And 36 baht for all of those for six bits of sushi, six baht each, it's a bargain. As I said, we eat this all the time and we've never had any problem with it. We'll continue to do so. Let's go and see what else we can find. There's so much yummy food at markets like this pretty hard to beat the chicken that you'll find at these markets and there's all sorts of Thai delicacies, fried chicken necks, 
chicken feet. This shop was selling a range of fried insects. Guy here was cutting up fried chicken frames. You really should try these if you come to Thailand. Thai fish cakes. I was making one of my favourite Thai pancakes here, Kanom Dung Tek. Topped with all sorts of yummy fillings, with pandan paste. And these ones had fresh coconut and sugar. Another one of my favourites, the prawn and vegetable cakes. This lady was making kanom jak, which is a palm leaf sweet. There's a sweet coconut mix that she puts inside and then she seals it up with toothpicks and grills it over the charcoal. Very, very tasty. I was looking at this shop earlier it's got Thai sausages, so I got Isan, and some other sort of sausage as well. Guys, cooking them back there on the grill. Mm, they look good. One sen noodle sausage. How one do I? How one sen do I? Our one. Thank you. And you get some sagrogi san? Sam sip. Uh huh. Okay. A 60 baht for everything. Alright, sausages. So this one is a wonsen, which is a noodle sausage. It looks really good. I've never seen them this style before. That is good, one of the better Thai sausages I've ever had, I reckon. Noodles are chopped fine, the skin's a little bit crunchy, easy to chew through, it's quite hot. It's obviously just come off the grill not very long ago. Flavor, it's kind of meaty, a little bit salty, bit herbaceous, very yum. And then these little bowl ones, I do love these. A bit smoother in texture. Bit mushy inside but again the skin's a bit crunchy very very tasty i do love thai sausages do try them if you see them when you come to thailand as well as the sausages these come with some cabbage and some whole chilies and also some pickled ginger to eat them with kind of refresh your palate after you've eaten the sausages mm. love the pickled ginger there's also a big undercover area in the market with all sorts of fresh food as well as plenty of prepared food. type of Thai roast chicken which is cooked in a big pottery oven with charcoal in the bottom. This stuff is delicious. You come to Thailand and see this, don't walk past it. There's loads of different fruit. Every 
everybody. Sweet and spicy, all lots of prawns in there, very yummy. Lots of vegetables. Curry paste. And there was heaps of fresh seafood as well. In addition to the food, markets like this normally have plenty of clothes as well. There's lots of bargains. These clothes are really cheap. And Thailand sweets are very popular, so there's always a wide range of them. The last thing I'm gonna try, I don't think I've ever seen these before. Okay, Al Tarai Cup. Okay, they're cooking them back there. Cup, Siki Al Cup. Happen Cup. Got three pots of them cooking here, and there's quite a few people coming and going. They seem very popular. It's always a good sign. This is just a little market, but it's got a great variety of food here. These things look very, very yummy. very crunchy on the edge. It's almost cake-like. It's not overly sweet. It's quite different to a lot of other Thai sweets. It's a little salty, a bit sweet. They're not the best sweet I've had in Thailand, but they're not bad. So that's some local food at a local market in Phuket. I'll put the Google Maps coordinates for the market here in the description below the video. It's open every Saturday afternoon. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for lots more Thailand videos. I post new Thailand food and travel videos every Wednesday. See you next time. Bye-bye.